Uh, Apple, as we all say, uh, we know that uh, they report profits after the bell today. Joining us now for her first ever <laughs> appearance on Varney and Company is Susan Lee. Ah. Susan, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, sir. Good to see you. So After my rant, you think you're going to be okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping to survive. I, I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. Now, but... we want you to tell us about the sales of the iPhone 10 because yeah. that's going to be a big point this afternoon. It's also a little expensive at $1,000 a piece, mm. apparently. So iPhone 10 sales, especially with, with, when you're competing with an iPhone 8, that's $200 mm. cheaper. You know, analysts have been, shall we say, ratcheting down their expectations going into these earnings. So I think they're pretty low and there might be a lot of upside and opportunity for Apple to beat. So the wild cards here, yes, we're expecting what, 51 to 54 million iPhone sales, but then, okay, okay, okay. but get to the wild cards is how much money are they going to give back to shareholders? Yep. They have $285 right. billion dollars in cash. God. I mean, it's a lot of money. Uh, a lot of people are expecting some sort of repurchases, maybe right. buybacks, giving back to shareholders. And then also, what about a new phone coming at the end of this year? There's another one coming, the SE2, apparently. Oh. And oh. services. You know, we buy Apple Music. Yeah. Uh, we use the iCloud. We pay to use the mm. iCloud. And so, yeah, these are things we're watching out for. A few wild cards right there. Yeah. Uh, wild cards, yes. You know, that was a fine first performance. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> if you're not careful, you'll be back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's a warning. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I think you can. Okay. All right. You're in. You're in. Ms. Lee, thank you very thank much you. indeed. Now